What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. We're out on this kind of rainy day today. I have the A6000 with the Tamron 17 to 70. I'm gonna do a little comparison video with the Sony 16 to 50 kit lens. See how the two stack up against each other. Get some photos and see which one might be better for you. You might have just got the A6000 and you're kind of thinking about upgrading to a new lens, so we'll see how this one stacks up against the kit lens and hopefully that will give you a better idea of maybe upgrading or maybe just sticking with the kit lens. So let's, let's go. Alright, here's my little setup. I have the A6000 with the Tamron 17 to 70 and then on top is the A6600 and it just has the regular Sony kit lens on it. I'm shooting in RAW in both of them with auto white balance and I'm just using the flexible spot autofocus just because that's kind of the easiest. Um, so for this shot I'm just going to shoot at f6.3 on both of them just because it's more of a, a wider landscape type of shot so I want to get as much of the scene in focus as possible. Looks like I'm a bit underexposed now. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna shoot with the 6600 first, then the 6000. These are both at 17 millimeters. Um, I'll get a shot with the kit lens at 16 millimeters as well, just so you can see the difference the extra millimeter makes. All right, for this next shot, I'm just going to get a photo of this tree with the background over there. Uh, these are both going to be at 17 millimeters at f3.5 on both. That's as, as wide as the kit lens will go. So get one with the 6600 with the kit lens first. And then 6000 with the Tamron. Okay. Okay, now I'm just gonna bring the Tamron down to 2.8, just so you can see the difference in the background separation from the 3.5. All right, this next shot is gonna be at 35 millimeters. Um, so at 35 millimeters, the kit lens already, it has to go to f5.6, which means I had to boost the ISO all the way up to 800 already. Whereas the Tamron, luckily we can keep it at 2.8. And so that lets me keep the ISO down a bit. Also, I'm sorry that these, the two images won't exactly be identical, they are a bit different just because the A6600 is a bit higher up than the 6000. So we'll take this photo at 35 millimeters. Okay, this next shot is just going to be of these green leaves here. We have Pretty wide open background so we should be able to get lots of subject separation um, we're gonna do this one at 50 millimeters which means kit lens is gonna be up to f5.6 and Tamron still sticking at 2.8 you can already tell that with the f.56 on the kit lens the background is pretty pretty visible you can kind of make out most most things whereas the the Tamron it's a lot more blown out and blurry which 
is might be a look that some people prefer so we'll s get this first one with the kit lens now the a6000 with the tamron all right for this shot i'm just zooming in all the way down the pathway I'm zoomed in all the way to 70 millimeters on the tamron and 50 millimeters on the kit lens just so you can see how much more reach you can get with the added 20 millimeters on the tamron so we'll take these kit lens and now the tamron Okay, for this one, we're at 50 millimeters again on both of them. I'm just gonna get a nice up close photo of this tree. See how much detail we can get in both shots. Uh, I'm at uh, f5.6 on both cameras. So we'll take the kit lens first. Now the 6000 with the Tamron. 